Grogu's and Gragas, please welcome to stage Wada! The fine folks at Caveat asked uh, a thing that I will say has never been asked of Watto before. This is the first time in the years of doing this show, both on live stream and the live theaters across this great country. The fine people at Caveat said, Watto, is there a song you want us to play when you come out? <laughs> Question never before posed to Watto that Watto has never asked himself, and without missing a beat, he went, yes, feels like making love by bad company, which is officially now subtitled, Watto's Theme. <laughs> How are you folks doing tonight? I feel like making love. Sorry, I didn't do my vocal warm-ups backstage. Uh, hello, welcome, uh, welcome, and uh, happy joke week to everyone. <laughs> now that sort of is a little bit of a litmus test here. Raise your hand if you don't know what joke week is. Well, get, you were just hit on the thigh. You're doing an Alfred E. Newman, let me worry. I think you don't know what Joke Week is. I got some news for you. Joke Week is when the joke is on you. Because we have never defined what Joke Week is, aside from the fact that it is this week, it is always the last week of September, and it means that this show is going to be very funny. It's a promise. We, uh, we are going to do jokes tonight. Uh, that's the goal and the comedy is good. Thank you for bringing the lights up. <laughs> Thank you. All the better to explain what joke week is or isn't. Who here has ever been to a taping of a live TV show before? <laughs> Great. So you know exactly how it works. You have to be respectful, silence your cell phones, do not incite a riot, <laughs> laugh at the jokes. Here's the test. What happens if I, like Watto, go like, a eh, pretty funny joke. That's not the joke. That's me saying a placeholder because I don't want to burn a good joke before the show. So I'm going to say a pretty funny joke with the cadence of it being an actual joke and I want you to respond as you will when that happens. Okay, ready? A pretty funny joke. I think you folks are ready. Now what do you do if something very sad happens? Oh no. Oh no. Of course, and this is a question for the real hardcore fans, what does Patrick do <laughs> He laughs at death. <laughs> he finds it funny, it's the ultimate joke for him. And in that sense, it's always joke week because many people die every day. <laughs> I don't know, what is there to say? I think I warmed you up for joke week. Uh, I wanna finish my froze. Let's start the fucking show.
Kingdom retired filmmaker George Lucas. Lucas, creator of Star Wars. And uh, uh, for those of you, uh, happy joke week to everyone. Uh, I, I am Watto, the uh, announcer slash warm-up comic slash sidekick slash flying space shoe slash joker. And here's a joke for you, George. Oh. <laughs> Hold. Not yet. More like retired filmmaker Joke Lucas. Oh no. <laughs> now, uh, for those of you who follow the show on social media, I, I uh, apologize, but also, uh, uh, psych, don't apologize uh, because I was telling people that it was Snow Week. <laughs> the greatest joke of all. Yeah. I was telling everyone it was Snow Week. Uh, did anyone dress up as Snoke? Uh, well, then the, the Snoke's on me then, because yeah. no one, I was really hoping that someone would, whoever dressed up as Snoke was going to get this free Snoke. Get the little Snoke. No, now you don't get, no Snoke for you. The, the great I'm, the, Snoke. I'm like the Snoke Nazi, no Snoke for you. Uh, classic comedy joke. The, the greatest joke the retired filmmaker ever told was convincing the world that Joke Week didn't exist. Yeah. Uh, excuse me? That's a joke. Joke, joke theft is real, and I did this for Phantom Menace. I used excuse me, which was a Wayne's World joke. Let's also acknowledge, I believe Watto gave you that about a year ago. Yeah. Because he needed to add one more item to his cart to qualify for free shipping. Yeah. And that was on deep discount. Oh, it's being peeled. Yeah, it's being peeled. Yeah. Oh, yeah, now it's worthless. <laughs> it's joke week. You gotta celebrate. Wow. Wow. Tis this season, George. Hey, look, like on Letterman, he would throw the things back, and then there'd be a sound of breaking glass. George, I'm worried about this show. Why? <laughs> Too funny already. Yep, sorry. I want to apologize. Uh, the, uh, but it is, a very, it is very fun to be making jokes. It's fun. It, look. It ain't not fun. Yeah. It ain't not fun to make jokes. It ain't not fun to make jokes, and that's the thing I always say. Yeah. Uh, and so one of the things, uh, big things in the news mm. is I played a big prank on everyone. I told everyone that my museum was going to open up next year. <laughs> this is sort of like early, an early joke week thing that we did, which was we said, uh, hey, you want to come to my museum next year? How about you wait till 2025? Yes. That's pretty funny. Right. That's, a, that's a long joke. That's, that's like a, a really long joke. It's like a shaggy dog uh, story. It's like when you uh, ring someone's doorbell and then put the bag of dog poop on their doorstep, except it was uh, building a half-finished museum in the middle of their city. And yeah, then and saying, you can't open the door yet. You can't. No. It's very funny. Hilarious. Uh, and, uh, but we should probably, should we bring Patrick out? Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, our not? producer, Patrick Connor. Yeah, I don't know. Patrick, get out here. Patrick? Oh, wow. Timing is very... You Patrick, Patrick, what is this, a flashback? You you, is this Patrick's dad from the 70s? <laughs> Guys, I was shaving this week. Yeah? And I, uh, my, my trimmer was set to too short of a setting. And I didn't realize it until I'd already shaved some of it. Can I yeah. say something that yeah, is it. not a joke? Sure. I think it's a good look. Thank you. I think it suits him. Thank you. Yeah. I think it suits him. All right. Yeah. I'm not sure. I'm, the jury's still out for me, Patrick. Yeah. <laughs> I think that combined with the Arliss hat is a real message. <laughs> I, was, I was on the street tonight. I was getting dinner, and some guy walked by and went, Arliss, I love that show. <laughs> And I said, you and me both, brother. 
Patrick, what are you doing? Are you just mining your life for material? Yeah, I mean, that's what you got to do. You're saying things that happen in your life George, as if those I'm are jokes. George, I'm a performer now. He likes to write on stage. He's one of those. Mm, uh-huh. I, don't, I don't like to write at all. No. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I'd rather not. Do you remember in the, the documentary about the making of Phantom Menace? There's like, you brought the camera crew in to sit in your office and you were like, oh, here we go, day one of writing the Phantom Menace. And you literally like whip out the le- yellow legal pad and a yeah. big pen and just did like <laughs> in long hand, just write like Star Wars episode one and then look to the camera and go like, no, no turning back now. <laughs> You gave it was like a Jim Halpert look to the camera. Being in, like, well. in retrospect, kind of an insane thing to do. Like people were like 15 years, like, are you gonna write this fucking movie? And you were like, I don't know, maybe. And then you just bring in a crew to film you, yeah. try to figure out what the first words are manually. Yeah. Well, it's true. Once I once I wrote those words down on that legal pad. I tried to stop. <laughs> <laughs> really did. That's the problem. I, I think you must I have known. I couldn't. I, I, at one point, they didn't film this. I, I thought, no, I'm not going to do any more stars. I tore it out. Yeah. I wrinkled it up. I threw it into the. I threw it into the the waste basket. Yeah. Uh, the the uh, sanitation workers came. And they took the trash away. I thought, well, that's the end of it. No more Star Wars now. Right. That page kept finding me. It kept on showing it back. Kept up. coming back. It was like something out of uh, the Telltale Heart. <laughs> It does you know. feel like you hired that documentary crew for accountability. You were like, <laughs> I will never finish this script. Yeah, of if my you film me writing, writing the title, then I, I'm going to feel compelled to do it. Yes. Yeah. Well, I think we should start by bringing out our guests because it's going to, once the guests are out here, we have two very talented guests. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I, I, I just think the joke week is only going to get funnier and funnier. Good. I agree. That's good. I have one final joke I want to tell yes. before we bring our guests out. Yes. Patrick. <sighs> yeah. Get me another frosé. <laughs> ha ha, that's the joke. That's a good one. Yeah, that's what, what you, you can what, expect tonight. Yep. <laughs> Patrick, you want like 15 drink tickets? <laughs> yeah, I'll bring it over later. Okay. Microphone still works over here. Oh, great. This is great. Thank you for the clapping. He thinks, he thinks everything is a joke now. It's not. The microphone still works over here. It might be a delightful uh, discovery, but it's not a joke. Microphones never joke. Yeah. They are a very serious technology. They have a job to do. Yeah. Wado, happy joke week. Thank you. We got the great show tonight. That's right. Let's bring our guests out. Enough time spent wasted talking about Patrick's fucking mustache. (laughs) It's rude to our guests. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> Grogers and Gregors, please welcome to the George Lucas talk show, Jean Grey and May Piggy! Yeah! yeah. Watto, get your cup off the seat. Move your cup, Watto. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm not fussy. <laughs> This it isn't a fussy show. It's a funny show. It's so funny. Oh. Thank you. We were laughing backstage. No, um, you were laughing. <laughs> and I was like, oh, it's because it's joke week. Yeah. Joke week. Yeah. yeah thank well, that, you so much for having us. Oh, thank you for being on the show. And you bring up an excellent uh, yeah. philosophical point right off the mm, bat, which is huh. that comedy is a subjective art form. Right. Mm. Yeah. Everyone has a different sense of humor. Some things that people find very funny, yeah. others find not amusing at all and vice versa. In a way, the great tragedy of Joke Week. (laughs) We will never identify the joke that everyone finds funny. (laughs) Yeah, I guess so. It's like when people say, you know what's funny? And I want to, I'm like interested. Yeah. But it's, you know, so often that they're just like, oh, I I found parking I don't normally. Oh, they (laughs) meant. Yeah, they, yeah. They, it was like, and that was Patrick. Fu- that's with not funny. That's examples. Of the, that right. was a delightful that's discovery. That's not funny. Right. Deli- no. I want to, let's, let's draw a line in the sand tonight. Yeah. <laughs> delightful discoveries are not jokes. No. Repeat I, it back yeah, to I, I wanna, us. One, I wanna, two, three. Delightful, delightful discoveries, discoveries are, are not, not jokes. jokes. I want to really stress that for white people, because you guys tend to do discovery a lot. Oh, yes. <laughs> so... 
Yeah. Okay. Not White funny. people stop discovering on three. Yeah. White, White people, people stop, stop discovering. discovering. Well, I, that's my time. I feel yeah. like I'm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I, my God, India! Yeah, <laughs> I love India. And and don't what think delightful. if you pretend like you're not delighted by the discovery <laughs> that you're off the hook. Don't pretend to be discovering anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. wait, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> Do you I, mean? I think the umbrage is not with the delight in the discovery. It's the claim of the discovery. Yeah. So you can't be yeah. like, oh no, I discovered America, and yeah. think that you're in the clear. You know? Okay. Right. How about I discovered India? What was that voice? I like? don't know. Wait, I was being Italian. <laughs> oh, well, and this, I, you know, this couldn't be more current, uh, currently yeah. relevant because, of course, Discovery's merger with Time Warner means they started discovering things and being like, what's this, Batgirl? It sounds like a tax write-off. I'll throw it in the garbage. Yeah. yeah. What's this, a Scoob Halloween special? Uh, it looks like a tax write-off to me. Let's put it down the Time Warner tax what? toilet. Is a tax, is a tax year? What? Is, is Every, tax year's tax year, <laughs> Every year's tax year, Every year's tax year. No, no, just, just this one. There's never, there's... <laughs> it's like joke week. The cruelest joke of all is tax year. <laughs> I did tax year last year. <laughs> then you're good. The you're you know, good. It creeps up on you. <laughs> it, it, you raise a good point, George, that in a way, discovery is now uh, pioneering the art of undiscovering things. That's right. Being like, that show never existed. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> there were never four seasons of Infinity Train. Yeah. Is that a st uh, Star Wars show? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was a cartoon show. Okay. Uh. Now... <laughs> Is it tax right off? Okay. Uh, I got it. Yeah. yeah. They undiscovered a, a show I was working on. What, no. what show? Um, it was... <laughs> it, it's going to sound like a joke, because it's joke week. It's joke week. Um, <laughs> it was a, a Steve Urkel... <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> ...Christmas holiday yes. special right. yeah. called Did I Do That to the Holidays? <laughs> A question what? that will forever remain unanswered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He didn't do it he, to the holiday. We yeah. don't know. Why? Why would you? What? Uh, what is this? Uh, what? <sighs> yeah. No. Now let me tell you. When yeah. I got the phone call asking me if I wanted to work on that show, that was my reaction. Right. What is? What? What? Why? <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, well, are you? F did you sign any NDAs when you worked on it? <laughs> no. Okay. Can also, we... they also undiscovered me working on that job about two days ago, so I don't give a fuck. Aww. Great, right? Here I'll tell go. you whatever you want to know. Yeah. Let's. Go. I want to know. I want to know everything about. <laughs> because here's the thing. Yes. It's okay. joke week, but I'm a storyteller, and some jokes, some jokes are in the form of a story, and and narrative art is my passion. If David Zaslav is going to throw Did I Do That to the Holidays down time, the Time Warner tax toilet, we have an obligation as artists yep. to make sure that the story of Did I Do That to the Holidays can live on. Oh, yeah. through, and we're right here. You can tell the story. This what? is the Berbiglia section of the show. <laughs> yeah. We're going to tell a story. We'll have jokes peppered throughout and we'll perhaps build up to a bigger punchline at the end. Yeah. Or, yeah. or perhaps not. Perhaps not. Perhaps Sometimes, not. and in that case, it wasn't a comedy show. It was a one-person. It was show. just yeah. a your expectations were off. A man talking. Yes. Yeah. So, am I to assume that Jaleel White was reprising his role as Steve Urkel for the first time? <sighs> oh. And it was I, I, it was amazing. I um I wrote all the music and I got to like coach vocal coach him through sessions. I vocal coach like everyone doing this, and they didn't like hire a lot of singers. Yeah. So it was basically like therapy sessions every time because wow. you know you're like you, there. Everyone's like I don't know how to sing, and I was like He'd Yes, you like, fucking do. Can yes, I do that? Did I? Can I do that? <laughs> and I will say this: none of the songs were the first song that I thought. I was like, should be, did I do that to the holidays? And I was going to submit it. And they were like, we have the titles for all the songs. Oh. Um, so I was like, you're not including, did I do this? Did I do that? Did I do that to the holidays? And they did not. Wow. So, so this was troubled before, before Mr. Zaslav even got his yeah. grubby little tax-obsessed mitts on the intellectual property of this project. I think, I think. I mean, they're going to try to sell it and see if it's going to still come out. Oh, well, hopefully. Who wouldn't want to buy that? I'll write a check right now. 
I mean, I can't. I've got a, my money's tied up in the museum. Uh, but I would. I would happily. Somebody should buy that because that's Agreed. that's a money maker. So it's not dead. It's just not going to happen on HBO Max. Yeah, no, it's it's not going to happen on HBO Max, and then it's like dead to me. Do you know how finished it is? And by the way, my condolences for your loss. Thank yes, you. condolences on the for project being thank dead. Thank you, thank to you. you. Yeah, um, Patrick, don't laugh. Uh, how how completed was it? It's 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 pretty close. Wow. Yeah. So will you be uh, like a named? Like a We're working that out with my lawyers this week mm. on exactly what credit I'm, I'm getting. Mm. But it is joke week, so I don't know what to expect. Right. <laughs> and they are discoveries, so it might be delightful. You should call your lawyers and be like, don't get back to me until Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Within joke week, I might not like the answers yeah. you give me. Yeah, we'll are say. there also pranks? In joke week, or of course, yeah, absolutely, joke. yeah. It's pretty uh, because, all encompassing, I think. Oh. Yeah, yeah. It, everything except delightful discoveries, I'd say, okay. is fair game. Yeah. If it makes you laugh, and it's not, uh, and 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 also we we do care about intention, mm. but you know because there is there there are uh, oh, okay. bully bullying towards the laugh is not uh, we don't celebrate yeah, that no, for joke I'm week. No, I'm thinking more like you know the kind of George Clooney style, like Poop in him the and the box. boys on set. Yeah. yeah. Like all pranking one another with to the intention of being closer ma male friends. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, like guys. Yeah. You know, like they put um, cling film on the toilet or something like that, or they like, they, they like Matt Damon, like your daughter got killed or something. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. Right. right. You know, classic Matt Damon, your daughter got killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. She's yeah. fine. <laughs> Just, but I think no. th those. The Clooney onset pranks are kind of a layered joke, right? Yeah, because, because he's handsome and it's unusual for a good-looking person to be funny. That's that's <laughs> layer one is the prank itself. The to the cling film on the toilet. Correct. Yeah. In this example, right? Layer two is who did this? George Clooney, that handsome man. That's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then layer three is I don't care that much. No. I'm not that upset that yeah. I just shit on my own legs. <laughs> Because I just remember that I too am getting paid fifteen million dollars right. yeah. to be in this movie. I am handsome. I am successful. We're all doing well. My daughters are alive. Thank God. Yeah. Yes. But if they weren't, I could probably buy new ones with the money I'm making on this movie. One. Get a better one. Layered. It's you could layered get a job. better kid for that yeah. much money. Fifteen million dollars. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a quality kid. I right say that there. to and Matt all the time. I go, yeah. Matt, if you have these many frustrations with your kids, get new get ones. Get new kids. <laughs> you work as a uh, family counselor. I mean, kind of pro bono, you know. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't. Another layer is that that then they can have something to chat about when they're doing film publicity. Right. Yeah. So they Which can, is a hard they to come up with little anecdotes sometimes for well, that. It's great to have those little stories. Yeah. You can you can tell people. Like here's what? a fun thing. Yeah. Here's, here's a fun thing. We were working on this thing and something fun happened. Yeah. Like if yeah if I was Matt Damon and then we were doing like the promo for like Ocean's Twenty Eight yeah. and then uh, you right. were like and here's you with a picture of your daughter and I'm like oh right no that used to be my daughter <laughs> here's a funny thing yeah right I got yeah. a blonde one now yeah. So it matches better. <laughs> Do either of you play pranks? Do you like pranks? Um, I love the feeling just before a prank happens, but I feel a bit sick after it happens. <laughs> when I'm the player. When you're the player. Mm -hmm. So you have regret? Yes, massive. Yeah. <laughs> what's, the, what's, the, what's a prank that you have true regret about that you've played on someone? Uh, pulling the chair out from my granddad and him getting injured. <laughs> <laughs> so happy to see you. It's been so long. <laughs> may, may I ask the severity of this injury? Like, do you know the spine has all the... <laughs> great, already great answer. Great I, answer. I was going to open it up to general life regrets too, but I feel like that no, works No, no, we're staying on this for a little no, bit, no, Patrick. I think it works Let's both categories, here. though. Right, there, it, I think everyone has done something uh, trying to be funny, and it's ended it in a little accident. <laughs> right. Not yeah. physically, pa maybe not a physical 
pain, but maybe you're maybe not paralysis. Yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I mean, I, I used yeah. to, I used to have Sometimes. a kid, and I thought it would be funny to like bet on a pod race. <laughs> yeah. Well, and now, put the kid up as like my stake. Hold on, let's clarify. When you say you used to have a kid, yeah, you're talking strictly about ownership. That's not parenthood. No, he's not mine. Yeah. No, but you had him. He was yours. He, I, I owned him. Yes. But you didn't, yeah. you didn't sire and him, like, and you didn't have a paternal relationship. No, it wouldn't be funny if I bet the kid. Yeah. 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 It's funnier if you're uh, a junk dealer who owns a child that works for free, well, George, and you bet that kid than if he was your actual son. Right, George, now you're just dissecting the frog. You're explaining yeah. what's funny about my life that you wrote. Yes. <laughs> That is what's funny, yes. I was a junk dealer. I had the child I owned yeah. who worked for me. A, a, a bizarre, incredibly tall Irish man in the club came to me and was like, I bet your kid could win in a race. And I was like, I'm so confident he'll lose. I will give him to you if he wins. Is this in the movie? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Key oh, plot points. Maeve, Maeve, do you know who that kid is? No, no. Darth Vader. Oh. If they Wait, were... He's famously the dad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But this, ha this is what happens first. This is when he's a little boy. This is from a Taco Bell cup, Maeve. Watto, yeah, she, no, she can see it. No, Taco no, Bell KFC it. Pizza Hut, yeah. Pepsi. Watto is a junk dealer who lives on the remote <laughs> desert planet of Tatooine. Watto loves haggling and betting on pod races more than anything. Pod betting race. on a pod race is how he won his two slaves, Anakin oh. and Shmi Skywalker. You from shouldn't Berkeley be writing the, the word slaves on a Taco Bell cup. It's just... Where I'm at, Where, but if only you had been in the in the Taco Bell yeah. marketing meeting when that conversation was had back in the late nineties. I feel like you would have walked in and just on a whiteboard is just like slaves, real big with a question mark, and you're yeah. like, it's very early. Yeah. Now, now, Gene, you am I am I correct? You have, you wrote a did have a slaves? song? What? No, no, you did a song about about Star Wars and about fatherhood. I have a lot of songs, so yeah. that is possible. <laughs> what? I listened what? to a song that said it was you. <laughs> <laughs> What's the song? Maybe someone was playing a prank on me or on you. What? Impossible. What's the, what? It's like how Tenacious D got tagged as the artist behind every yeah. funny song in the first like. You don't 10 remember years. singing about Jedi's and Nebu? LimeWire. Now here's this. I mean, I'm dads. sure I, I'm I sure I could have sung about Jedi's and dads. Not a lot it of, sounds like me. Yeah. There's not a lot of people who sing about Naboo and dads. No, no. So it sounds about right. So you're not denying it. No, I'm not. It's starting to feel like you did, sure. but you're trying to you're trying to sort of keep a distance from it. I'm not gonna assume yeah. I don't own Star Wars, and you're entitled to write a song about it. What is this song? To George? me, it's starting to feel like George doesn't remember the name of the song. <laughs> George <laughs> doesn't remember the name of the song. It's very vague. I'm it's supposed to rem uh, you know how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to remember all the songs. Yes, not. How old are you? Hey, Google, Google it. Patrick, <laughs> what am I doing? Am I Googling how old you are? Google how old I am. I believe still, is it 77 yet? You are 78. 70, yeah, there you go. Uh, uh, 78, yeah, yeah. like that's the way yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the first records good. ran at 78 revolutions per minute. Yeah. I'm now old enough that I, I am the same number of years as it used to take a record to go around in a minute, 78 times. Uh, Gene has a song called Style Wars. No, that's not it. <laughs> Type in Star Wars Gene Gray. Uh, put Star Wars in quotes. <laughs> put Gene Gray in quotes. Put, yeah, put me in quotes. Gene is put on a song. Put me in quotes. I'm You're... ready to play <laughs> today. Look at me. My name is Patrick. It's joke week. Gene's on a song with uh, Talib Kweli where he mentions Star Wars and Dick Cheney. What's that song called? That song is called Where You Gonna Run? No, keep Googling. No. <laughs> I'd like to know what the Star Wars and Dick e Cheney reference is. Yeah. I could see that, though, because he was um, a, a, a father as well. Yeah. Oh, emperor. I was I, thinking I, of it maybe like it was who, uh, who shot first and then the Dick Cheney with the shooting. Yes. <laughs> Remember when he yeah. did that? I know some things. Did he, is he still alive? He is. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what he, he did? He fucking killed this no. guy. 
he's gone through like eight hearts. Right. Yeah. Insane. Star Evil is hard Star to Wars kill. Papa. Wait, did he get a heart transplant? Yes. So somebody... Didn't you see Vice? That's the whole plot of that movie, May. Well, it's the twist. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he Wait, got, he got the heart <laughs> transplant after shooting his friend in the face. Yeah. Was he got me? his friend's heart. No, it was a random guy. Because if it's a head injury, the heart would be absolutely perfect. I feel like that would be the right time to do that. That yeah. guy's like he's still alive. Yeah. The guy that he shot in the face is still alive. He's like 95 yeah. years old. What happened to his face? The face is, I mean, it's there. Yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Patrick, you can Google, sometimes you can improve. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, Google if the guy who uh, he gave his who got the heart from uh, is still alive. Okay. <laughs> sorry, I fucked up the joke. Maybe continue. Well, I was just gonna say, sometimes if you get like a bad injury on your face, then you can say to the plastic surgeon, "Can you also like fix?" You can end up looking better, is what I was gonna yeah. say. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because like you might get like your nose caved in or something like that, and then you can say to him like, "And also while and you're also, at it, while mm -hmm. you're at it." Or, yeah, or how, how a little bit of chin this? lipo? This a little bit of chin come, lipo. This chin didn't lipo. come uh, out of the womb, you know? <laughs> I said, let's add a little length to the thing. Let's put a little curve in it. Wait, you got this surgically uh, I blew out my I thumb. found it on my phone, Patrick. Yeah. You, took you have one job right now. <laughs> Type in the words, quotation mark, star, Wait, space, have you had wars. any other have I'm you had so any I'm cosmetic so work done? Have I had other cosmetic what? work Pop done? up? What? What? What are you calling me? <laughs> what new nickname have you saddled me with? Did you say Star Wars Papa? No. no. Star Wars Papa. Papa. Oh, Papa. Oh, Papa. Oh, but okay. it'll come up if you search for Star Wars and Jean Grey. <laughs> okay. That's so when Dick Cheney shot that guy in the face, yeah. they were hunting. Because like that's not a good prank, right? No. Well, <laughs> this is the thing. It's subjective. It's yeah, subjective. Yeah. It's, it's subjective, subjective because yeah. if someone—it's funny to me. Yeah. We're laughing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Patrick, fact... new tab. Check if that shooting happened during Joke Week or not. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. I did. I did find the song. Um, Dick Cheney shooting. <laughs> this is where I thought this show would go. Yeah. Fe February 11th, 2006. Not oh, so it's an early Valentine's Day joke. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I mean, I found the song. Well, it's called Star Wars Papa. It's a man named Jonathan Mann from 2015 or Is so. that your pseudonym, Jean? Yeah. Jonathan Mann? Yeah, it's real <laughs> creative. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, straight to the heart, it's tearing you apart. Just oh, like wait, it, there is audio for this online. Yeah, we it does, is, Jonathan Mann, is Jonathan Mann a person who does like, he was doing a project where he recorded like a song a day for a year. Uh, that's kind of what it seems like. I feel yeah. like he was doing that and then he, was, he would like invite people over to like guest on the songs. Yeah. And, and so did. I had never met him before. Oh, wow. yeah. And he was like, we're just gonna do this one song. And I was like, great. And that would explain yeah. why I have no recollection right, for you it was of just, that fucking It was just song. one day. I was just there. Yeah. Uh, Patrick, would you like to apologize for me? <laughs> to, uh. to me for how long it took you to bring that up? You're, you're literally a man on stage with a computer. It's your you're job. You're decades younger if than me. If we're being honest, yes. if we're being honest, I saw it mm. and I thought it was just some guy who made a Star Wars video and put Gene's music That's over fair. it. That's fair. That's what I That's thought fair. it was. Mm. All right, let's hear a little of it. No. <laughs> I'm doing so well in life. You're doing great. Yeah, Gene's doing let's, great. Let's, let's stay on the shooting. Yeah. yeah. Let's stay on the shooting? <laughs> let's Gene, you recently moved back to New York City. Yes. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. You're you're a born and raised New Yorker, right? Um, I well, I, almost. Okay. I, I like to um, play a native New Yorker by Odyssey, and they're like, "Oh, uh -huh, she's a native," and then I go, "Almost New Yorker." <laughs> uh, I was Don't six months old. Do you have a two one two number? I have. I bought a two one two number back because I was uh, right. fuck gentrification. I was raised oh. in Chelsea in Manhattan. I was like, "No, I want my fucking area code back." Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I bought it. I think six months counts too. Six You're months old. You, you, uh, yeah. You've been here from six months on. Yes. Yes, I think that counts. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. Uh, and, and you left, you moved away during the pandemic, right? Yes. As many did. As many did. Um, and I was in Baltimore for two years. And it was lovely. And uh, then I started to realize, I was like, oh no, I can't fucking walk anywhere. Yeah. I can't do anything. I don't drive. 
as, and if you go to the rest of America, they're like, what? And you're like, I'm from New York. Why would I drive? Over right. there, it's a strength. Yeah, you need yes. to drive. Right, yeah. Um, it, well, here I'm saying it's like a point of pride uh, almost. Did you, did, was it disorienting too to walk down the streets of Baltimore and just hear, honk, 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 What is this joke? You move and why are so many laughing? The city that never sleeps <laughs> to one that sleeps at many hours. Yeah. You'd be walking Why down. Why is that your sleep sound? <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. Honk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know classic sleep noise. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was weird because I, <laughs> I came back to New York and it was like during pandemic and everyone was asleep because everything was closed. Yeah, this city now sleeps a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it sleeps a little bit. It sleeps a little bit. Uh, the city gets a, a, little, a little bit of rest. Intermittent napping, is that what yeah. they call it? It's yeah. like off hours. Power nap. But right. Jean, I, did, I think I told you, but I learned to drive here. Really? In, in Sunset Park. In the, You took your... Oh. I took, did my driving test in Sunset Park and passed it. And the average time for a driving test, guess how long it, it takes. Are you going to Google this? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm Googling something else. Because I think I... I am going to make it up, but it is going to be close to what I did learn before. Okay. okay. Do you want me to Google it? Maybe. Okay, go ahead. I want, I want you to Google it. Yeah, I mean, we're going to be here a while. Yeah, he does. this is it. I'm like, I feel like this I'm, I'm struggling to decide in my mind yeah. if I think in New York the average time mm. is far Shorter, higher yeah. or yeah. lower mm. than the national average. I think it's I think it's lower because we're all very uh, we, we gotta go we gotta get right. we gotta subway. do it we gotta so do I, it now. That's where my brain goes first, and then I'm like, but we all are not well suited to driving no. a car, so maybe it takes like two days. <laughs> two days. Because we're like, what the fuck is this? Why would I do this? This yeah. is a nightmare. It it doesn't take two days. You're on the wrong side of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. Okay, Gene was right. Yeah. Thanks. I'll say that this number surprised me. Eight minutes. Oh, that's even shorter than what this says. Well, I think I'm wrong. <laughs> this is 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Yeah, 15 minutes. Did you go fast? Yeah, you just literally speed around. I was just... I, I don't think it. that's what they <laughs> tell you to do, Maeve. <laughs> Doug, yeah, you did it. She literally sped around. <laughs> There's one it. thing on the clipboard. It says, how fast can you go? <laughs> uh, I, love, I love to drive fast. I love yeah. things that go fast. It's my favorite thing. Why? You got a big uh, ranch to drive around. Drive around um, the ranch fast? Yeah. 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 Yeah, that w that's my. I love speed. Like I love <laughs> yeah. velocity. Do you like speed. speed too, or just speed? Cruise control. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind cruise control as long as I'm going fast when I hit that button. Oh shit. I won't cruise slow. I go fast. Now, yeah, what is a lot of elderly oh. people would be cruising yeah. slow, but not you. No, no, I drive fast. I drive yeah. fast. I got a. It's bad so thrilling then to see your work. Yeah. Why? It's so fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you like that? You seen any, you've seen anything I did? I think so. And you remember things get, went fast in it? Yeah, the Borg. Radio land murders. No, 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 no. Say you, it again. Hold on, hold Radio on. Radio land hold murders. On. <laughs> hold on. Auto, hang you on just say that. you just asked me the Borg. <laughs> oh, Maeve. Uh, oh, Maeve. It was so nice having <laughs> you too. That made me so happy. That's a, my heart. Let me tell you something. That's a pretty good snow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, that's Star Trek. That's Star Trek. Right. That's not what I do. I don't do Star Trek. Okay. It's slow. Star Trek is Star slow. slow. It's so The first slow. Star yeah. Trek movie, the whole movie is just about them docking the ship. Famously yeah. slow. It's just like, they're like, uh, here's uh, our uh, ship. Uh, and yep. they go, yeah. yeah. And everyone looks at it. It's a nightmare. That's a horror you, film. You hate it? No. The whole point of a spaceship is you go fast. You feel scared when you see that? I feel scared because I'm like, that ship's never going to go fast. <laughs> yeah. And I like to go fast. That's your whole thing. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's fun about a slow ship? You Nothing. can't. Like, if you're going slow, like, between mm -hmm. two cliffs, and I know how you like a between two cliffs mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. bit. Yeah, no, it's mm -hmm. not the same. Because no. you're like, no danger there. They're like, oh. I don't mind if something is in slow motion as long as, if we're a fact, yeah. as long as the act that we're seeing, we know is something that's happening very fast. 
And the reason we're seeing it in slow motion <laughs> is because the only way to appreciate right. how fast they're going is to slow it down. This is too fast uh, for the naked eye to clock. Yeah, mm -hmm. slow motion is different yeah. than something going slow. But have you thought about oh. like speeding the uh, the opening credits up then? George, this is a great point because we have a comment in the live chat right now from Franco who says, why is it called the opening crawl? Pranko? Oh. That's what I just was asking oh. about. Yeah, no, I, I was know, like, yeah. This is great timing. So yeah. have you have yeah. you thought about because it's not fast? It's pretty fast. For well, words? For, you, for words, think about what a book looks like. <laughs> <laughs> think about what a book looks like for a second. Do you yeah, think but about what a book looks like? they don't move. It's the definition. No, they of don't. Slow. Yeah. So in the world of in the world of Type and typesetting. Yeah. Fastest book Crawley I've ever is the seen. fucking one of the fastest. <laughs> yeah. th th and Crawley does a lot. Uh, here's the thing Crawley doesn't just do Star Wars. You see Crawley do a lot of things. Crawley can go really fast. If you watch any television show, I get when anxiety. It, when it first airs, mm, yeah. Something happened in the 90s where Crawley was like, if you squish me to the side and put me up like that, yeah. I can go fast for all the end credits no, of every true. movie and TV show. I, it's Just terrible. Put, like, it's Crawley terrible. had this idea. He's like, you know, you can put a commercial or something here. Put me to the side, and I will go so fast. Yeah. You won't even be able to read who made this show. No. Comedy Central wants to start another showing of Joe Dirt in 30 seconds. Crawley's like, I can do this. Put me to the side or squish me to the bottom, and I will go so fast. Because if you because smaller things move faster. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. It's just science. Yeah. yeah. But also like the a, turtle and the hare. But yeah. also, yeah. But big things can go fast. Millennium Falcon's big. Huge. Goes fast. Oh, my yeah. God. A cassowara. A cassowara. What? Excuse me? A cassowary? Uh, a cassowary. A giant bird, yeah. A cassowary. They're what? Fast. Incredibly fast. I'm worried I'm having a stroke. So dangerous. What? what? A cassowary? Hang on, does anyone else in the room know what a cassowary is? Cassowary? Okay. Oh, wow. Too. wow, okay. A lot of cassowary, them do, but it's just a stripe. Don't, in the don't do that to each other. No. So they'll be like, oh, yeah, cassowary. Yeah. Cassowary, we, cassowary. The Cassowary yeah, Society of New yeah. York up here in the front. Am I saying we, right? We Casso dated the same Cassowary. Cassowary? C A. Yeah, I think so, yeah. S U R U A S S O W A R Y. One more time. C A S S O W A R Y. One more time. C A. No, I'm just joking. Never mind. Stop. They're very dangerous. Is it in any way like a casserole? In January? <laughs> There's funny Jean. Congratulations <laughs> on a great show. Jack Wake! <laughs> no, it's like the opposite. It's just a very dangerous big bird. But when we were saying earlier uh, about like, oh, small things are fast and big things are slow, I started to think, wait a second. A cassowary is so fast. <laughs> and it's yeah. so big. Where do they live? Australia. That oh, makes okay. sense. That checks out. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And they have vi vivid faces and they have these huge... Me I thought you were going to say memories. Like, they remember <laughs> you. Vivid, vivid memories. memories. They got vivid. If they, if a cassowary sees you and, like, yeah. you pull a fucking prank one time oh, and you come back or they see you, like, driving in a car oh, and they're like, it. this motherfucker. Yeah, and they do that thing where they kind of embroider their memories, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what I saw in my mind. Yeah. That's about right. Look at those this fabulous lashes. This is from CNN.com. <laughs> those lashes, I don't know. This is, this is going to sound a little left. Has anyone ever seen Rick Ross's eyelashes? <laughs> Bring it up. Because he, he wore sunglasses for a very long time. Mm. And mm. then once, he, uh, for the record, I think Rick Ross is a terrible person, but I think he has fabulous eyelashes. <laughs> And he took his sunglasses off. I love that you can see the good and bad people. Yeah. No, they're so good. Can well, you technically, just... it's not the good in him. It's the good on him. They're on yeah. the outside. Right. It's oh, not in him. Line. So yeah. is he growing the lashes behind the Behind shades? the shades. And I think that's why he didn't want to... Uh, he was wearing sunglasses because he was like, oh, I don't want people to see my glorious, mm. luxurious... Or is there something about the properties of keeping sunglasses on all the time that is ideal for harvesting longer lashes? Can you Google... Uh, I believe they're going to... Uh, no, I was going to say growing no. uh, I, growing lashes in, in the, the dark. dark. Like, you can force... There's different... Um, <laughs> Thanks. There are different... Don't pretend to type. <laughs> If you if you put different, um, you can force 
like rhubarb, yeah. for example, or like different fruits and vegetables, if you put them in the dark yeah. Yeah. and you put a tiny um, pin prick of light at the top of the barn, yeah. the rhubarb will be like, <laughs> like it right. will like grow. Yeah. Well, there's also, there's that old song. I wear my sunglasses <laughs> at night so I can, so I can. And, then and I don't remember if the next lyric <laughs> is... Grow my eyelashes. Grow my eyelashes in the dark at night. Yeah. I, I, I always is. remember the first part, and I never really hear the next line. I think that's what I it think is. I think that is it. This is just saying how to get darker eyelashes. That's all I'm getting when I'm... Oh. Oh, I do not trust your Google. I don't either now. This is also like why they... Um, I know... You, you Waddle? like what? Yeah, keeping uh, like children in like dark yeah. places mm. Mm. Oh, oh or something, oh. so they grow faster. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so they can work more. They always grow up too fast. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but in my mind, not fast enough. Yeah, because I got high shelves in the junk shop. That's the thing. Well, have you tried keeping them in the dark? Mm. I have. I just tell them like, no, you're doing well, and I like keep them yeah. in the dark from the reality uh, that they're not good at their job. Gene, there's two mm. sons on Tatooine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta dig, dig down. Yeah, we all fucking know. It's that, very bright. <laughs> this is the George Lucas yeah. talk show. George, la last, <laughs> not to move on, but George, last month uh, someone brought a VHS tape and we destroyed it right. and passed it on. Someone sent a gift. To you. Okay. Can we you, you can bring it up? A gift or a gift? A man last month recollected all the tape Aww. and put it inside of a Toy Story VHS. Good movie. So it's sort of a it's sort of a joke. So it's inside this is re-edited scraps yes. Yes. of uh, Star of Wars? Star Wars episode four A New Hope. Wow. This is a gift from me? Yeah. I, I, Who from you're just the messenger. Merely the messenger. Yeah. All right, so that coward is not here. <laughs> <laughs> you, but you do his bidding. He think he can put Star Wars back together? <laughs> and he has the audacity to do it in a company that I sold in their, their signature work? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I'm getting that. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this guy. What is the message that I am to take from this? Did he say anything? Were there words that he said? Like, tell George he'll know what it means. <laughs> he said, give this to George. All right, well, I'm going to watch this. And it's always possible that this is a superior cut of the film. <laughs> you have to respect that aspect yeah, of it, like, George. It, it might be better, at least, than... The, the, the work print that we released in theaters in 1977. Mm -hmm. Just a ran any random edit of the footage. Because he, he couldn't see the footage. He was just taping it back together. By hand. Yeah. That's, right. you know, in a way, that's the kind of outsider art. That's the kind of experimental <laughs> films that I've been making since I retired uh, and sold a Lucasfilm to Disney. I've been making experimental art films, and I won't show them to anybody. What's what do you show to us, your friends? What's the last Some one friends. you yeah. were working on? I don't, these are secret films. I don't release oh. them. I'll show them, like, to my buddies. No. Is there, like, cooking in them, or? Yeah. There might be some cooking. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing, it's, it's a punishment, because I mm. feel like the public got very nasty about my films, mm. and they hurt my feelings very badly. Mm. They said they didn't like what I was doing, oh. yeah. mm -hmm. and sometimes they wouldn't even go see them. <gasps> mm -hmm. Everybody wouldn't go see them. Yeah, I really strange. I really strange magic. Did you go see it? Yeah. You don't even know what it is, do you? Do you know what strange magic is? Yep, it was uh, very. It was about magic. And yeah, the woman yeah, moves her nose. Strange. Yeah, yeah. That's like, ding, 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 ding. That's, yeah, That no. magic isn't strange. It's strange, funny. Strange. <laughs> it's funny magic. I'm I got mixed up again about what's funny and what. Quick. Yeah. And what was Strange Magic about? It was about fairy. It was a jukebox <laughs> musical about fairies who live in the woods. It's Star Wars for girls, and it's written around George's iPod playlist. Yeah. So fairies sing like Poker Face, but they also sing Find Me Somebody to Love. That sounds pretty rough, man. <laughs> oh, tell you what. It's on, it's on Disney Plus right now. Every... It goes on and off of Disney Strange Plus, magic. I think, just on a random, just... Yeah. yeah. Like, if you hit refresh, it might not be on it, but it's right there. It's on... Do you subscribe yeah. to oh. Disney Plus? 
Sure. It, you can always tell if Disney Plus is in retrograde, then Strange Magic is <laughs> streaming. <laughs> That's how it works. 2015, one hour, 41 minutes, romantic comedy, oh. comma, family, comma, fantasy, comma, animation, comma, action, hyphen, adventure. Mm. Oh. A tough fairy princess, see, for girls. <laughs> crosses, and this is what George said, by the way. When the movie was coming out, he I said, I made, I made Star, Star Wars, Wars for boys. boys. I made this for uh, girls. Oh. Four years later, I finally decided to Ooh. make Star Wars for boys. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. I just want to say thank yeah. you. Oh, you're welcome, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> finally. What well-mannered ladies? But tell them, tell them about the box. What well-mannered ladies I'm talking to tonight? <laughs> Thanking for Uncle it. George for making a <laughs> girl George, movie. George, but tell them about the record that broke. That's the important stuff well, here. Well, let me tell you. Let, let me tell you. I'm worried that if I read out this one-line synopsis, <laughs> we're gonna lose our guests because they're gonna go running to the nearest high-definition monitor to sign up for Disney Plus. Yeah. Don't watch, watch it in standard def. Find the nearest high-definition monitor. Thanks, H Tom Cruise. HD <laughs> 5.1, closed captioned. Mm -hmm. A tough fairy princess oh. crosses paths with the sinister bog king. <laughs> As one does. I, yep. I like. I actually like the sound of that. Do you yeah. know who plays the uh, the Bog King? Uh, um, yes. Irish. You'll love this, Maeve. From the UK. Um, lesson. for now. For now. Uh, that's a clue as to what could happen. Harrison or no? Not not Irish, not Brit. Right? I, UK, I but yeah, yeah. who knows how yes, long? You are correct, Lotto. Yes. And a white person, obviously. Yes. From? Um, uh, <laughs> yes. Is May, it? They're, they're from a town called Aberfeldy. Oh, a Welsh actor? I mean, this says Scottish. Christian Bale? This says Scottish. Christian Bale. Oh, Sc a Scottish And oh, the movie's a musical. A Scottish actor? That gives you... The mu the mu the movie's a musical. So it's a Scottish? Scottish actor with a background. And they recently, Musical spoilers, did not get assassinated on a long-running television show. What? Wow, that is a that is a spoiler from a Paramount Plus episode that was released today, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> oh shit. I'm that is so show. disgusting. I that apologize <laughs> to any Paramount Plus people. <laughs> I am so sorry. Patrick, do you if you hate the show instead of watching The Good Fight today. The Good Fight. Well, now you fucked it up, Jordan. <laughs> it yeah. wasn't a spoiler. No, it's out of the bag. No, it's, it's done. Was. It's done. If they are already watching The Good Fight, they know exactly what this Maybe is. They haven't guessed which actor it was, so no, no one knew what show he was spoiling. Listen, because we're going to get to it. Everybody say it with me on three. The yeah. actor who plays the Bog King. One, one two, two, three. Alan Cumming. Cumming. <laughs> right. Patrick, <laughs> I'm gonna I can't be honest. believe. I'm going to be honest. I read an article about it. I guess this morning. I thought it was yesterday. <laughs> oh, well, if it had been yesterday, you would have been in the clear. But I assumed the episode came out days ago. I thought it was an old article. Oh, who is... I don't feel the, bad. Who's, who's, the, who's the tough fairy? Yeah. Evan yeah. Rachel Wood. Oh. Checks out. Yep. Checks out. Yeah. From uh, uh, Westworld. Westworld. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. George, can we give some stuff away? Absolutely. Okay. Mm. Uh, Patrick, it, what? I got an idea of a thing to give away. Mm -hmm. How about you give another Frosé away to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Watto, bad news. What? We're out. We're out! Out of Frosé. <laughs> and honestly, Watto, uh, here's another piece of bad news. What? Out, is this correct? Can I say it? Out of Frosé forever. <gasps> what? What? Because they're is... switching to hot apple cider because it's, it's the fall. It's autumn. <laughs> People run hot! Wado, you may have had the last <laughs> cup of Frosé at Caveat. <laughs> Did you oh. serve? Whoa! No! Oh. Thank you so much. And now, Wait, hang on. Did you Frosé drink? Is away. that yours? <laughs> Did you drink out right? of it? That's Jorge. You do it, Wano. Yeah, come on. <laughs> All right. Let's, um... Uh, <laughs> yeah, it gives the germs some time to calm yeah. down. <laughs> um, who, the uh... Wato straw is yeah. self-sanitizing. Who, uh... <laughs> who drinks coffee? <laughs> Woo! I'm gonna give these right here because I'm sitting in front of um, him. 
Uh, okay, great. I have, uh, let's see, I got a lot of stuff, guys, to give away. Um, you, you just who, hand out the things? Who has never yeah. read Bleak House by Charles Dickens? <laughs> and wants to read Bleak House by Charles Dickens? This is okay. the Barnes & Noble edition, yep. not the George Lucas talk show edition. Yep. I believe my bookmark is still in there from where I stopped on page 12. That is a weapon. It's a weapon. Also, a, a prose person, you, you left stage too quickly. I was in shock. But let me give you two drink tickets in exchange Aww. for the Frozen. Who, um... The, the mystery froze -er. Yeah. Who has a cap Capetitance electronic disc system? Uh, here's an easier question. Yep, Who there doesn't own one of those? Thank you. And there's that for you. Okay. Hang on. We got more stuff here. Uh, who wants a read-along for Phantom Menace on CD? Oh, Watto? Watto, hand this one out. I thought you were giving it to Who wants this? Hey, good news. Who didn't get the first oh, one? I don't want to throw a CD. I have a second yes. one. Patrick, why do you have two copies of the Phantom Menace? I don't know. have a booklet. Who wants this? Guys, you got to take no, this stuff. There. Okay, someone pass it on. Who I don't want to throw Nintendo a CD. Who has a Nintendo GameCube? Very nervous. Uh, right there. Gene, did you have a question about is this part of the Give show? Give it to Blue Wolf back here. Is this part of the show? That was what you... Uh, you yeah. Was, you started to ask a question. I felt like that's where you were headed. You seemed like... You looked at me as if to say... This can't be what the show is, No, right? I, I, enjoy, I would make this just an entire show. Of its own? Just a two hours of me like bringing things from home and be Who like, like do you want to? this? Yeah, I, fe you I feel like it's because like, Patrick is moving house. Okay, yeah. right. There's Star Wars the radio drama, and then Return of the Jedi the radio drama. You get Star Wars. Are those on cassette? Those are on cassette tape. Oh! oh. Hey, yeah. what, what, borough, nice. what borough do you live in? Okay. In Brooklyn? Okay, so you probably have a cassette player I'm again, right? I'm also in Bushwick. I'll oh. come over and watch yeah. it. Thank you. Everybody's getting cassette players in Brooklyn now, right? Gene, yeah. you can't This watch book it is called Star yeah, you Wars watch on it. Trial, <laughs> The Force you Awakens Edition. It. Here's what I'll say. It's not good. Yeah, it looks shitty. <laughs> you not, want it. Okay. It's not good. Um, who oh. wants... Uh, wow. We're almost wow. done. We're almost done. Who wants a little plate that has Anakin Skywalker and he turns into Darth Vader? I heard a Lao Wu over here. Conan shirt. Okay, ready? This is a German Star Wars fact file. Why did file. you bring this many things? I gotta get rid of it. Jesus. Uh, okay, this is an old German. Opal Rancis fact file. I don't this know is what good it is. stuff. That's sehr good. This is a sticker book from when I was a child. Ugh. <laughs> this is the thing you should worry about having germs. Yeah. Okay, this one, we're almost done, we're almost done. I have like one big thing after this. This is great This stuff. is a book called The One Minute Negotiator by Don Hudson and George Lucas. Oh. Actually, give me What's that. that about? Give me that. You did that? Yeah. Sign it. Definitely sign it. Okay, yeah. and now speaking of signing. Is this another yeah, 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 flick, the away. low Cineplex internal magazine? This is from uh, <laughs> Revenge of the Sith, right in the you back. You want it back Wano. there? Yeah, in yeah. the back. And where, where's, okay. where's the Frosé person? Where's Where's the Frosé? Now, the last, the last big thing I have. Oh, okay. Who liked CISO? Who wanted this? Oh, Are you standing up for the magazine? <laughs> yeah. This is a poster for That's Night so Train funny. on CISO, which Maeve and Jean were both yeah. on. I'm going to have them sign this, and then we'll give it out to one of you. Oh my one of you's got to take it. To be clear, this is by someone named George H. Lucas, so I just yeah. signed it H. Uh, <laughs> Wait, do you know why CISO was called that? No. Why CISO was called CISO? Yeah, because they... Cause, well, I think is this right? I don't know, Patrick, you might know. Yeah. Because it was like... If you like what you see, yeah. so you like yes. this other thing. Yes. So it's kind of like an early version of like an algorithm or something right. like that. Right. You see it so. Um, see this see so. so. It's like you know, like it, yeah. It doesn't. It obviously doesn't work. Yeah. Well, because the, what they what they didn't realize was the, the story that they were the the story that they were telling with the name CISO ultimately was one of apathy in two <laughs> syllables because it was C and then so so. so? Um, so? It was a, it was a misjudgment. Yeah, uh, they right. should have the second half should have been something like C yes. Yeah. Like CBS. CBS has been around for a long time. The story they're telling ultimately is C. It starts with C. You have to watch it. BS. Their logo is an I, so you get it. C. Mm -hmm. And then B. What are you doing? I'd be seeing it. That's what I'd be doing. And then S, which in the context of CBS, the end of saying B 
leads to a Y sound, which makes an affirmative. So the story that CBS is telling you is, I see it, I am, and yes, and I yes, will continue yes, to more, watch CBS. More, more. Yeah, yeah. But we're not going directly to just seeing the BS? Oh. No. Oh. Wait, the lights changed when you said that. I know! Yeah. Listen, <laughs> the mind is a powerful thing. Uh, Who wants anyways. this poster? There oh. we go. Here you Pro go. Rock. I like that there was one applause yeah. for that. It, that it's always nice. nice. Yeah. Uh, now we have a couple of we we have a New York premiere of a character. Now this is a character oh. who's appeared on the show many times. It's a fan favorite. This is uh, former president. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold yeah. on. Because Jean had quite the reaction to the reveal of this character. <laughs> yeah. Jean, what do you think this who you, is? Who do you think this is? Nope. Um. Here, the hairline is a little clue. <laughs> who couldn't recognize? Who couldn't recognize that hairline? A little bit of Grecian formula. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening here? Who you, here? Take it. Don't open it. No, oh, Don't this feels it bad. In. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this feels real bad. I'll give you. I'll give you. You want to ask me questions? And I bet you can guess who it is. I'll say this. He made a lot of people feel real bad. So oh, that yeah. tracks. Yeah, he did a lot of damage. Um, it's edible or no? No. No. Don't, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> He said we can ask you questions. Yes, and the answer to that is no. It's not edible. We weren't saying no, don't ask that. We were saying no, don't <laughs> no, eat don't it. eat it. Okay. No, yeah. I felt like there was a tone like. No, no, no. no we will like, answer, but no. the an some of the answers are going to be passionate. You need to be ready for that. The, the tone okay, was okay. concerned. We didn't want that in your. <laughs> and also know that almost everyone in this audience knows what this is. Yes. Oh, <laughs> raise raise uh, your hand if you don't know what this is in the bag. <laughs> Not many. Okay. Not they many. said it's okay. a new character. No, it's a, that. No, we're going to bring in a new character. This That's is the a, a familiar character. This is the old. This is the legacy character. Darth Vader. Uh, pretty close. Maul? He did create. He did try to create a missile defense shield that was called Star Wars. Who's the Darth Vader of America? <gasps> Dick Cheney. No. Again, did he back a little bit in time. The prequel. I was gonna say like the second President John Adams. Forward in time. <laughs> that's, that's too prequel. That's too prequel. That's uh, such a great answer. Um, I don't know. He did. He was an actor, and then he was. Oh, a Reagan. Yeah, that's that's oh. Ronald Reagan, but oh, he, of course great. he's deteriorated. Uh, yeah. Uh, so now we call him Rotten Ronnie because he's rotten. <laughs> he it's a, a, little, he was a little, little trickle down bag. He was That's a little nice. hand puppet. A trickle down bag. A little, chicken, a little bag of trickle oh, down. It's a trickle That's down good. bag. Like That's that. a great joke for joke week. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Now, George, well, what's God. this you're pulling out of a bag right now? It's a new character. We, Nobody has seen this here because the Detroit show has not premiered on right. YouTube we, yet. That's right. We, oh. we did an out of town preview, and this character was a big hit. Yeah. This character was a Michigan exclusive. Right. Is King Charles, everybody. This is such a good Genesis Land of Confusion King, King Charles. This is a former spinning yeah. image toy, but oh, you hit the nail falling, on the head. That's the exact art style. Yeah, right? Yeah. About we yes, can see yes. the pieces falling out of the pack. He's yeah. already crumbling. Now, I this is be, very lifelike. I want to yeah. be clear. Yeah. We're not doing. We're not just stealing the spinning image thing because spinning image. When they use these puppets, yeah. they were not falling apart. This is a toy that was sold in stores in the 1980s. The uh, it's operated with four holes that you put Very your fingers cool. in. Very and I cool. want to be clear that these holes are disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of my book. <laughs> Uh, I'm not going to show them to the audience. We showed them to the audience yeah, uh, in Detroit. Wait, and can I make a joke? I'm sorry. Yes. I just thought of one. Yes. George, <laughs> talking about these holes being... <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. <laughs> just do it. You don't have to. No, no I, I want Wano, to. Stand in, stand in the spotlight. Stand in the, can we get a spotlight can on Wano? Spotlight? Really I don't know if that's doable. Can we not. get a brick just wall? Just to me. Let me get a look at this. Let me yeah. see if I can confer. Okay, great. <laughs> Okay, and we're in a New York company. Let's, let's cut do all the lights except for one. This. Can we do that? This, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> George, you said these uh, holes are disgusting? <laughs> yes, I did, Watto. Uh, sounds like to operate King Charles, you have to put four in this stink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's bring those lights back up. I feel gross. I feel gross. Oh. Oh. I tried to stop you. I... <laughs> she did. She did say you don't have to do I this. I know. 
I know, I know, I know. If it was I any other week, yeah. he, he probably would have just let it go by. Yeah. It's very important that we not hold in that kind of joke and joke Any week. other week. Any other week. Yeah. I would have pocketed it. Yeah. He would have made an editorial decision. <laughs> yes. No, we can skip it. I don't no. need to say it. Yeah. But it's joke week. Yeah. It's that, joke that little voice in the back of my head way. saying, don't tell this joke, mm. yeah. that was the Snoke. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> the thing that tells you not to t make the joke is the Snoke. And yeah. you ignore him? Yeah, on joke week, I do. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah so, I, got, I got a Snoke telling me to stop, but I'm going to do it anyway. Is that, um, see, he, this actual person, wouldn't be able to fit his fingers in those holes. I don't know if you guys <laughs> That's right. have seen these goddamn fingers. <laughs> yeah. Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are some pretty big. big Ooh, they are. It's like, it's plumpers, like five right? hands. Like, sa like sausages. Like, yeah. I, I never. Well, sausages in America are little patties. No, but I'm talking about, you know, those Irish sausages. Sausage those links. those yeah. like, yeah, they got yeah links. right? I just was thinking of the audience. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for translating, yes. I famously do not care what the audience <laughs> thinks. Yeah. Uh, yeah, bangers. Bangers. Yeah. Bangers, yeah. 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 He's yeah. got banger fingers. He's got banger fingers. Yeah, I imagine if you were... If you were yeah, yeah. But that's not even... No, no, that's, that's not, not even the best one. No, there's another one. That, that, there's another one. There's the best one. I've there's seen. There's one you got to see. It's, a, it's, one, a, it's uh, just on his fingers. You those were see. human, slightly human yeah, yeah, fingers. Yeah, those are good. The thing is... Yeah. Yeah. There you go. yeah. Like there you can't you get go. those in that. You can't get those bangers. You in can't those get stink those holes. in that. Those Years. bangers can't go in those stink holes. No. Years of inbreeding. If I, if I, I'm not. I've never worked as a butcher. I imagine if I was a butcher and I saw those hands, I would think, Ooh, I'd be like, gotta get those hands. I gotta, I gotta get those gotta hands get those in my hands. window, in my shop window. Now let we've me got, tell you. Oh, we've got Prince Charles's fingers. That's that's a fun prank. Yeah, that would be a fun prank. Yeah. To get, take the get the king's hands. Get the king's hand, the hand of the king, as they say. And then on, you hang them in your shop. Mm. Yeah, yeah, you watch the hand the, of the you, king. Yum yum yum. You yum, watch. Yum. You watch the. You watch the House of the Dragon. No. No? no. They got the hand of the king. That's a big thing uh -oh. in the Game of Thrones world. Oh, well, I do know what that is. It's a job. Yeah, it's a job. It's not job week. Is it a hand job? It's not. It's not it's job week. Not job. Oh, now, that's geez. a thing for joke. That's, that's a joke, a joke. week. That's a hand job is one of the only two types of jobs you can talk about during joke week. In comedy. Yeah. Number yeah, two? Yeah, yeah. What's Accountant. <laughs> And that's a joke, because it's joke week. George, go on. Now, George, in Detroit, we discovered one uh, uh, Hand trait that this King Charles has. <laughs> what was it? I don't remember that show. <laughs> it was a good show. Uh, Another likes... thing for people who uh, uh, didn't uh, see the Detroit show, uh, Watto drank every flavor of Fago. <laughs> Oh, was a thing that wow! Yeah, I think it's going up tomorrow on YouTube, just so everyone knows. Not really? that my um, lawyers have their say about uh, it. He he likes to eat something. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, uh, but I don't know. But that's a real prank. I don't know. Do you do you want to? I think we open up that prank box. All right, hold on. No. I gotta switch hands. It's worse because <laughs> this is gonna be my good hand. It's, guys, now both hands <laughs> going in the king tonight. I think you guys. <laughs> You're all acting <laughs> like it's bad, and it's going to be fun. Oh. So. All right. Wait, he, the puppet's going to eat something? Yep. Um, oh, fuck. I hate that can so you see much. How, people up front, you can really see how much debris falls out <laughs> with the slightest <laughs> movement. <laughs> He's also been very damaged since Detroit. The, the nose really got flat. Say, what he, happened in <laughs> Detroit, <laughs> y'all? the Polo and Wilson nose now. <laughs> And he lost his mother, famously. <laughs> yeah. yes. Well, that yes. happened pre-Detroit. Yes. That happened pre-Detroit. That I, happened before Detroit. That's yeah. why we brought lost, him out to Detroit. I lost my mom. He was grieving. <laughs> I lost <laughs> my <laughs> mom. <laughs> I lost <laughs> my <laughs> mom. And just, I just want to make something clear. <laughs> Ronald Reagan used to look like that. And through puppeteering, he turned into that Ziploc bag. Yeah. Also, through, this happened in the last six months, eight months. Yeah. Like, he was fine oh, a no. year it, ago. It, it happened within, made, like, two what, hours, they're made, What are they made? Are they, like, nougat or something? Like, why are they so, like... <laughs> not nougat! Are they made of nougat and marzipan? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you the back half of King Charles's head. Mm -hmm. I apologize to the people who are sitting on the side. Mm -hmm. 
Get here earlier. You can have one of the front I, seats. I bet yeah. we could get a close up on the camera. I don't think I don't want I want as few okay. people to see this as possible. Okay. It's it's this is a gift to the people it sitting over here okay. for having to look I at your back. I need my glasses on, on for All right. this. Okay, I'm going to remove. Oh, I'm gonna hate I want to talk through every step of this. Okay. Yeah. Are so you going to like smell your fingers on your day? No. Oh. Never again. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to pass it down? Oh, Jesus Right. <laughs> George, can, can you see that? You can't see it? George, they still can't see it, George. They can, here, hang on. Hang on, hang on. They can't see hang it on. with those noises? <laughs> I'm going to show them at the end. I'll be very careful. Can, can, uh, I, be, can I be honest? Oh, when I checked the back of it to make my joke, it looked 20% better than it does now. That's like the level of degradation in the Look last five Look at the tourists minutes. taking photos of the king's holes. Oh. <laughs> it looks oh. like if you pulled a chicken strip out of the breading and left the breading. It looks right. like a whole roasted okay. cauliflower, and that's not too bad like, if you think of it that it's way. It's like if you like broke up like a piece like toffee and then <laughs> smashed it into right. a pound cake. Yeah. Yeah. I <laughs> don't mind a toffee every now oh, and again. Oh, God! <laughs> I couldn't. I'm taking my glasses back off. <laughs> Do you have any questions for the king? Is is what's going on in uh, this small representation of you uh, sort of pretty much what's going on with your real body? <laughs> yes. <laughs> And I heard that you lost your mom. Have you found her? <laughs> good joke. I'm Happy joke week. Good joke. I like a good joke. Gene, <laughs> 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 Gene, Gene, look at me. <laughs> For the love of God, do not make <laughs> him laugh again. <laughs> this happened in Detroit. It took four hours <laughs> to stop. He is the strength. He's also Aww. stretching his jaw so much he's gonna fall apart Aww. so Gene, fast. Gene, you have to tell him something sad. Stat. Go, go, Gene, go, go. They're Stand sending everything back to the places where the museum stole them <laughs> from. <laughs> it's no. over. It's over. No, 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 it's no, over. No, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> there was a game I played in Detroit. Two and you do not have to play this game if you don't want to. I know what kind of games Prince Charles plays. It's, it's not far off from, I think, what you're thinking. Like that he would kick a shrunken head around? Nope, different game. Different okay. game. Different, different game. game. Yeah, different he's game. the shrunken head in I this did instance. not initiate the game, <laughs> but I was the only one who knew how it was played. <laughs> Both of the guests asked <laughs> if they could touch my nose. Wait, why aren't you speaking into the microphone, King Charles? <laughs> because it's it? joke week. <laughs> Maeve, you gotta give him that. It's pretty funny. Did you know that inbreeding allows you to carry your voice? <laughs> <laughs> that you figures th good throw it to your cousin. You can throw your voice to your cousin. <laughs> or anyone, yes. They throw it back and forth. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Either of you, if you wish to touch my nose, you may. <laughs> That's a hard no, but okay. A hard no? I, I mean, all right. You should, Jean. Uh, Jean. Be warned. I, do you mean from which, which, from which side? From the bottom, top, anywhere? From your choice. Uh, is it really, though? But I've warned you. <laughs> it's a trick. <laughs> you do not have to play the game. I don't think you should. But touch when you play, it. no, no, no. I feel like I feel like this is the closest I'm gonna oh, get God. to like trying to destroy colonialism. <laughs> so, yeah. just let me have this, man. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Now, your highness, your highness, your highness. What? Your Hello, <laughs> your highness. Yes. Yes. Hi. <laughs> Patrick Cotner, George Hello. Lucas, Patrick Cotner, George Hello. Lucas talk show. I warned you. <laughs> yes. That is how the game is played. Fair game. Now, Your Highness, what, what may I ask is the name of this game? The Game of Nose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
That's how we called it. What is it called? <laughs> Charlie bit my finger. Oh, right. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie. Oh, Charlie no. bit my finger. That was the whole setup. <laughs> I, I truly remember none of this happening. <laughs> Watto was upstage in a fago coma, trying not to vomit. <laughs> the game of no. no. Maeve. But it's no. I I'm, must ask. <laughs> you can say no, but he must ask. Maybe. You can't stop him from asking. The rules. Do you want to play the game where you touch my nose? <laughs> can I like nominate somebody to do it for me? <laughs> of course. Like in those like one-on-one -on -one duels or something oh, like that. Oh, trial by combat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you uh, may. I nominate Jean. <laughs> May! You first me. off, the, the Irish <laughs> and the black people <laughs> should be together on this. <laughs> Famously, yeah. when, when we came to America, yeah, we you dropped did, you did that throw whole us thing. under the bus. Yes. Yeah, we yeah. dropped that whole thing. This also, is true. famously, I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Jean, I am so sorry to be the one to tell you this. The rules of Charlie bit my finger <laughs> yeah. are that, of course, you are allowed to say no. You don't have to play. Well, also, I have, an <laughs> <laughs> I have an announcement to make. <laughs> As of mere moments ago, <laughs> King Charles III of the Four Holes now has only three holes. <laughs> Oh my God. Somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in the palace, this announcement was also just made. <laughs> Gene, you are allowed to say no if you are asked to play the game. Well, what I but like, what I like is a loophole. Mm. If someone nominates you yeah. to play the game, oh. yeah. you cannot say no. Well, to. here's the loophole that I'm gonna say because okay. Maeve didn't specify which Gene. Is there any other Gene in oh. here tonight? Or Is even the anglicized version, John. John. Yeah. Or anyone wearing jeans. <laughs> anyone French? No anyone one's wearing jeans? Front row, I see denim, and I know I'm always on the lookout for denim. <laughs> When I walk into a room, first thing I see is who's wearing yeah, jeans. Yeah, what May said was jeans. Are there any workmen here? That's what you think. Uh, yeah. Yes. Who here? I just saw. <laughs> I just saw a person wearing denim overalls pointing at someone else. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the fucking overalls. Come on, overalls. Come you, on gotta, on. you gotta. You <laughs> gotta. You gotta. How dare you? It's hard to she was like, that. I call these overalls, Do not wanna... jeans. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yes. it is. Yes. You yes. can't see the back. Overalls, overalls, uh, what? Overalls, what? And what? It's, it's what? very simple. All you have to do <laughs> is touch my nose. It's very simple. All you have to do is touch It's your nose. dripping. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, over, overalls, everybody. Overalls. All right, he's going back in the bag. Oh, King some Charles of them. the third, everybody. Oh, wow. this, this, uh... Congratulations <laughs> on his... Um, congratulations on your promotion. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it looks like kind of like a butternut squash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a roasted butternut I squash. Yeah, yeah. Because it's fall. you got to roast Harmless. vegetables. Yeah. I had a monologue yeah. joke. I forgot to say it. Whoa, what is it? Do you want to stand in the middle? No, I don't. I want to okay. say it from the desk. Like Seth. Seth Meyers. Yeah. Seth, our good yeah. friend Seth. Uh, everybody, everybody, uh, was watching the news, seeing about Hurricane Ian. Mm. Not funny, yeah. George. <laughs> Bad start. <laughs> Win me over. Yeah. Uh, I got confused. I thought I was back on the set of uh, episode six. That's what we used to call Ian McDermott when he walk on the set in a bad mood. <laughs> on the set of what? Ah, so, uh, there's so many details I'd have to fill you in on. Good you, topical, <laughs> topical joke. Did you get that, Gene? Gene, did you get that joke? In <sighs> fairness, it's a monologue joke. It shouldn't be done this deep yeah. into the show. No. no. It doesn't make sense top. in this context. It's kind of up kind of right. top in the middle time. somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying but to I had to say it. If I, I would have heard it at the start, I feel like I would have got it. Which show is he in McDermott on? Uh, no, he plays the emperor in a lot of the Star Wars movies. 
Why do I not? And he know actually that? is a lovely guy, but that's part of the joke is the idea that he would be in a right. bad mood on the set yeah. right. and be like, oh, here he comes. You know, like. Oh, no, Patrick hurricane. said it would take too long to explain. Yeah. No, well, he, yeah, this I just is a man who takes 16 minutes to Google four words in quotes. <laughs> I just didn't want to have to explain the emperor, and I didn't, you know, there was a lot of. Wait, hold on. Let's just see. Do you under, uh, let's see how long it would take to explain the concept of an emperor. Okay. Do, you under, do you understand what an emperor is? Yeah, yeah. Sure. Okay, it's done. Was that. <laughs> Patrick, how many. No just, explanation were we timing it, or was that actually so short that you weren't able to start the stopwatch <laughs> function fast. in time? I couldn't too start fast. it. I yeah. couldn't start too it. Long, too fast. It takes too long to explain what an oh emperor is to two very intelligent people <laughs> oh who understand the world. <laughs> Patrick thinks it takes too long to explain what the George Lucas talk show is, but everyone here understands. That's right. Makes perfect sense. Patrick, how long is the show tonight? I mean, should wrap up soonish. That's not the question. That's not I the question at what's all. What's our hard out? What's our hard out? Uh. <laughs> Can we? It, if it, it's okay if it's already happened. Okay. Oh. All right. Yeah. Can can Maeve and I down um, two more white wines yeah. real quick for Let's the last ten I'll, minutes? I'll give you guys. Yeah. yeah. Can we get can we Maeve, get two more? Do you like? Hey, white? you know what? Let's make it three more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you finished your froze? Oh, I finished three froze. <laughs> it's Thursday night, baby. It's joke week. <laughs> Nothing funnier than when what? Is, when is that? <laughs> drunk. Hey, Maeve, mm -hmm. you going to write another book? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? Jean, are you writing a book? Am I? Uh, yes, I am. That's exciting. Yeah. Mm. It's, uh, it's pretty good. It's, it's, it's fun Aww. when you're like, oh, I want to write a book. <laughs> These are Maeve's books that she's already written, yeah. and they're very fucking Friend good. Friend of the show, John Hodgman on the back says, Maeve Higgins is brilliant. Yeah. Ooh. And I just went to Maine. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Made famous by John Hodgman. Yeah. Made that was the first and only time I've ever heard of Maine is through John Hodgman having a second home there. The titular vacation land. The, yeah, the vacation which is land. right over there. Yeah. Well, that's right over there. Right that's right, right over there, yeah, yeah. exactly. Maine. Thanks so much. Could, Thank you could so we much. bother you for a third? That Thank was not you. a joke. I'm going to Venmo you. No, 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 I got these guys. I got these bad boys. No, I mean the tip. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's very nice of you. So you're not going to write another book, Maeve? Um, well I don't done. think so. <clears throat> I mean, okay. maybe, um, like, I feel like I'm just writing little bits and pieces, but those are very long. Those are like 80,000 words. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Is it because of the publishing industry? Oh, because of I Was Me too What? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what are you asking? <laughs> No, sometimes, like, Are you I asking because, yes, the publishing industry is so sensitive. Yes, every now and then I might have said something to an assistant. Yeah, every now and then I might have put my hands where it didn't belong. Maeve, it is joke week, but you need to clarify if you are joking or not. Even joke week has a line. <laughs> Maeve is pre-outing herself. This is a, uh, yeah. what was his name? Oh, Morgan Super Spurlock. Morgan, Maeve is Spurlocking yeah. right now. Super cancel me. <laughs> Wait, he's super canceling. <laughs> yeah. He's, he asked if he could get canceled. <laughs> like the Harvey Weinstein stories came out, and a week later, Morgan Spurlock was like, "I should just fess up. I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> like I fucking suck. Here's oh everything." Oh my god. Okay, so you laugh, but that actually like did weirdly happen. Like, I feel like a lot of guys, like, said weird stuff to me after when Me Too started happening, stuff that I hadn't even thought about, and then they were like, hey, remember that time when I said that thing? Yeah. And I was like, no. Yeah. And they were like, okay, yeah. but what I meant was... <laughs> Just in case. Right. Yeah. You remember. Uh, that's, yeah. that's like people, like, sort of running checks and balances with you, being like, you're not going to cancel me, are you? Can I clarify? Right. Morgan Spurlock was like, new medium post. I suck. Bury me. <laughs> Do you remember what he did? Uh, a lot of stuff. He did. Uh, I think he made a show where he like got to eat McDonald's every day. Well, I remember what he did in terms of his <laughs> shitty movies and TV shows. 
Yes, he Maybe claimed he, he was going to also find like, the There was a suit, then he did the chicken thing. Yeah, right. that, he, I, he did that twice, that was, man. That yeah. was the thing. He when, he, yeah. when he pre-canceled himself, it was when he was doing the press chick- for yeah, the, chicken the chicken movie. thing. And it was and real weird. Everyone who worked on the chicken movie was like, <laughs> we spent two years yeah. making this. <laughs> He did a lot. He like went through the entire process. Yes. He like bought like chick like he w- raised right. chickens yes. and then wow. opened an entire chicken restaurant yes. and then sexually <laughs> assaulted some women along but, like, the way. He, decades earlier and then when the movie was about to come out he was like I should fess up. I yeah. cheated on literally everyone, everyone I've ever dated. Even the chickens, oh. every <laughs> single chicken. Yes, including everyone I've worked with, yeah. every chicken. I I'd, I'd look at a piece of chicken I'd be like, I'm gonna eat you. Yeah. Hold on one second. You Walk too. away. Eat a <laughs> different <laughs> piece of chicken. Yeah. I went to McDonald's. I also went to Burger King yeah. during that whole time. His piece of shit. Yeah. Oh. Do you remember when he was like, "I'm totally gonna find Osama bin Laden"? <laughs> 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 and he made a movie. This is true, me. This was his follow-up to Supersize Me. He was like, "There's only one way to top that. I'm gonna find Osama bin Laden." <laughs> And he did this in like, like 2005, 2006. Like he was Where did Nicolas he go? Cage and he went Treasure. to like fucking the Middle East. He went to caves. <laughs> he like hired like SX CIA agents and shit. And they played the movie at Sundance and they were like, Did you find oh Osama? God. And he's like, You gotta watch it to find out. <laughs> It's called Where in the World is Osama Bin Laden? And the poster is a Raiders of the Lost it Ark is. parody. It is. Oh my God. This, so, this feels like when The Daily does one of those episodes that you find out is actually spinning off a new podcast and that Wado is going to do an anti Morgan Spurlock <laughs> podcast. Yes. yes. That's just, a, this is a backdoor, this so, episode is a backdoor pilot for it. So, George, I want to pitch, like, because I think you're, like, you're into, like, doing stuff for, like, uh, the girls now. So here's my <laughs> pitch that Maeve and I mm-hmm. um, are uh, tough sisters, tough sisters mm-hmm. and we want to go find Osama bin Laden. Yeah, because yeah. it's at his body. This takes place before. Yeah. <laughs> and then we put him in the ocean. This sounds like a yeah. James Cameron thing. Like, you want to go down in the ocean? I want to find I that. I feel like Jim Cameron would love that. He's like, can I put my cameras in the ocean? <laughs> yeah. Like, is this it's scripted underwater. or unscripted? Both. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, Jim is making a lot of avatars. I'm yeah. sure there's room for one of them to be on <laughs> Earth, and it's you two <laughs> ladies going Jim. down to the ocean trying to find Osama bin Laden at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> avatar, Gene, and Maeve look for bin Laden's body. Yeah. I think if you can make it rhyme sorry. like like uh, Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar, if you can make the title yeah. rhyme, okay. then like you got he, it. He sleeps with the fishes. Now here come the misses. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That's a tagline. I think it's a little unwieldy as the title. We want to get your names in the title. Okay. And, and we want to find a good rhyming word. Also, I'm going to give away this record. Oh, okay. Did something Maeve wrong with Osama? Jean. Oh, no. Did something with Osama? Oh, no. There's a terrible story behind this. Is there? What do you mean? Should I not give it away? No, you should definitely give it away because no one it? should buy it. But I won't wow. sign oh. it. You won't sign it. Can I no. sign it? Yes. All right. Can I'll I write whatever you want because it, Can I say something very quickly? Yeah. Gene and Maeve look for Bin Laden's grave. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I cracked it. I cracked it. I made it. <laughs> Joke week! <laughs> can we get water into the title? Like, watery grave. Yeah. Because I feel like yeah. he, lo- he loves if uh, you can put water into the title now. Yeah, Gene and, Gene and Maeve, through the waves, look for Osama's grave. Watery grave. Watery grave. There we go. Perfect. It's almost, it's very limericky. <laughs> it's limericky. Yeah, I like and, it. And that's what actually sells. Yeah. So A limerick. <laughs> a limerick sells, what's a the, rom-com. What's the story? Did I do bad? Um, so one, there was one day, this is way in the past, and I walked into a, a record store, and I was like, that has my name on it. That looks like a, an, uh, do I have an album out? And then for a second, I was like, did I black out? Well, you have, and make you have an made album? albums. I have made many albums. Yeah. I did not make this album. <laughs> Who is this? This is, I was on a record label called Baby Grand that took my vocals oh, from a bunch of mixtapes that I did, asked, hired some producers, and then put an entire album together and put it out. Whoa. And I walked into the store, I was like, I'll take this? <laughs> wow. Yeah. And you know Patrick was one of those producers. It was <laughs> me. You can Google it right it now, me. but I it might take you yeah. long. 
It'll just be a picture of me. Would, shall we destroy this record? Yes! What a good show! What a way to end the show. All right. <laughs> oh. oh my God, George Lucas yeah. destroyed. Oh my goodness! Yes! George, like, scratch the You gotta the get out there and make it happen. Yeah, really George, go George like scratch the performance with the Mickey knife so it's unplayable. Yeah. So some weirdo in Canada can't put it back together over like a... Yeah. <laughs> you don't want someone to put this back together as a Toy Story 2 soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just... All right. Just cheer goes. him on. Get him going. That's and fantastic. Oh, no! Wow! Yeah! <laughs> wow. And now you got to get a refund. <laughs> This is a good night. Thanks, any, George Lucas. Do we, do, we, it's, do we have anything we need to plug? I should say, after the show, uh, grab a poster, come up, and we'll sign it for you guys. Over Jersey Dave's here. <laughs> He's signing those posters. And I should also plug the Bring the Noise shirt that I'm wearing tonight. Bring the Noise. Also in the room tonight. It says, the worst podcast ever made, the George Lucas talk show. <laughs> Wado, do you have anything? Yeah, I, uh, I, you know, I'm just upping things I enjoyed. Mm. I saw the trailer for a Disney Plus movie called Disenchanted. <laughs> and you know what? Even saying I saw it is the misnomer because what I really <laughs> responded to is what I heard. Yeah. <laughs> The things on screen were less interesting to me. I don't know. The live action stuff looks good. Nah, it looks dumb. But the things I heard <laughs> sounded great. What did you hear? I heard the talking chipmunk with a, a New York <laughs> accent who sounded so funny. And I have heard that he was largely paid in exposure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Despite it being the biggest <laughs> entertainment company in the world. Wow. This show isn't going online, right? No. So... But it's a, I heard it's a recast. I heard it's not even the same guy. Let's the not dig into all oh, of this. Okay, great, great, great. But I'd say people should watch Disenchanted with their families on Thanksgiving <laughs> and say, Disney, why not more spin-offs of this chipmunk? <laughs> Perhaps at a renegotiated rate. <laughs> that's beautiful. You're for yeah. the workers. And that's all I care about at the end of the day. As long as I don't own them, I care about their rights. I was about to say, real, uh, real duality going If I on don't there. own them, yeah, now I, got it. I yeah, want yeah. them to get a fair shake. <laughs> and if I own them, I want what I paid for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe sense. anything to plug? <laughs> No, thank you so much for um, including myself and Jean in the thank you for being in the here. talk show tonight. It's it was really wonderful fun. to share. Well, share I have plugs. No, no, I'm just responding to the thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and no plug. Um, no, I mean I don't have a plug or anything. Plug Butter Boy. Oh yeah. yeah! Every Monday I do a show in Gowanus called Butter Boy with a parent and cherry lad, Joel Firestone. It's great. Is Go this, check it out. It's a good one. I have to ask, is this inspired by the famous Norman Rockwell painting, Butter Boy? Yeah. You're a Rockwell fan? Huge. You don't know? Can we pull up Butter Boy, Norman Rockwell Butter Boy? really quick? I mean, her work moves me. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. All right. <laughs> have you seen the Butter Boy plates? <laughs> have um, you, you haven't seen the Butter Boy plates? Some of the funniest plates ever made. Now, I'll say no. this, Maeve. We've been trying to up our Google SEO status for Butter Boy ahead of the shows. Here oh. we go. See? Oh! That's oh. Butter Boy. This is a real Norman Rockwell painting. It's on a plate. His name is Butter Boy. Oh, my goodness. It's a plate exclusive. This thing was never committed to canvas. Look at him. Like, okay, so this is what got me in trouble. He looks so... He is young, but he looks so much older. <laughs> he does. He's, He's got a suit on. I would so think he's I would think he's got a job. Thank and he you, works Jean. at a yeah. He, Thank you. So what are we yeah, supposed to do? He's got a knife. What are we supposed what to do? What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed Little to do? Little boys dressing like men. Butterman, yeah. butterman, butterman, butter mighty good man. <laughs> butter right? mighty good man. That, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly. How this one goes. Yeah. So maybe and he can maybe butter that bread. He should get cancelled and not me. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. True. Gene, yes. do you have anything mm -hmm. you like to plug? Um, uh, so I have uh, two things coming out on the first. I have uh, an album of affirmations uh, <laughs> called You Fucking Got This Shit. Um, 
Uh, and I have a new podcast called <laughs> Stacy Jambles Ace Detective with No Short Term Memory. Uh, that'll be out on the first. You can just follow me on my um, my social media things, and you know right. you'll find out where. Everyone are. do that. Follow yeah. on the socials. Give yeah. out the book and the the record, George. Oh no no no! The one minute negotiator up top. <laughs> Give out the book. Yeah, who wants it? Yeah, who wants this book by George H. Lucas? Hand one up in the back. A hand went up in the back. It's yeah. yours. Hand in the yeah. back. It's you yours. Back center. Waving in the back. Right. Back. Oh, oh, which one? Yeah, back center. Back center. Back center. Stand up. You, right there. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. The one you. pointing to themselves and asking if it was them. <laughs> oh, well done. You just got the book. Straight from the hands of George. Can okay. I, I right. forgot it's to do incredible. this in the warm up, but now that the lights are up, I have to ask Can you raise your hand if you are wearing. Something George Lucas talk show specific. Stand up, just stand up. Wow. <laughs> Congrats to y'all for fun, supporting so stuff. Absurd. It's fun stuff. Good stuff. Where do you get your stuff made? Uh, are we Balenciaga <laughs> these days? Have we shifted <laughs> contracts? <laughs> Bring the noise. Bring the noise Bring makes noise. incredible stuff. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Below the collar. Yeah, we have Comedian a, tees. Yeah. Yeah, below the collar. Right, Dave? It's up? <laughs> yeah, below the collar is where you can buy shirts and hats and all that stuff. Hmm. Very nice. Dave, do you have anything to plug? Uh, no. Oh, come to, if you're going to New York Comic Con. Oh, yeah. Who's going to New York Comic Con? We'll be there on the Saturday afternoon doing a panel. Uh, we're up against what? Uh, we're up against the Star Wars High Republic panel. Yeah. Uh, I want to make sure there's more of us uh, at our panel. We got some good guests. They'll be announced in the next day or two, probably. Yeah, and we're going to be giving away a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, and our panel is going to be commemorating the one year anniversary of Ghostbusters Afterlife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I would also like to plug I don't know if anyone uh, in here can just get on a line and just lobby for me to, if there's ever in the future where they include uh, Luminara and Dooley and anything. Mm. We Whoa. look exactly the fuck oh. alike. Wow. So I'd be in cast Patrick, in that pull up Luminara be, and Dooley. Uh, okay, would hang on. Be Patrick, fantastic don't take me. four hours to do Gosh. this. And I want to encourage everyone to follow at Lucas Museum on Twitter. Uh, we'll be opening up in 2025. So that's after the next presidential election. Uh, it'll be the year after we have our next election. So, you know, very excited to find out, uh, depending on the outcome of, uh, we'll have the midterms, then we'll have the presidential election, and then open uh, uh, the Lucas Museum after that, which uh, very excited to be opening what I assume will be one of the last major museums ever to open. <laughs> Can we bring my computer up on screen really quick? Is that doable? Drag to the Drag side. Making it go fast. Whoa! Oh. Luminar Unduli. Yeah. There oh we go. Oh my God. Yeah. Jeez. Let's make it happen. I think you need to get that chin tattoo you just to fill be. It in. Say yeah. less, Maeve. <laughs> <laughs> Say less. All right. I want to thank everyone for coming out. Uh, we uh, joke week will end at midnight tonight. Uh, it's the only week that only lasts for a day, <laughs> and uh, that's one of the things that's so funny about joke week. <laughs> Uh, and uh, the so uh, tell a joke to your friends, tell a joke to your enemies, but you've only you've only got uh, 42 minutes left. 42 an excellent Harrison Ford movie about racial justice. With How very many few jokes final in it. jokes can George cram in before joke we get? Uh, we'll see, but I, I we'll be signing posters. Thank you. Be kind to each other and be safe. And may the force be with you always. Bye bye.